Welcome to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will introduce how to partition your SSD in Windows 11 and 10. We will show you two methods for partitioning your SSD, using Eesus Partition Master and Disk Management. You can jump directly to the corresponding method to partition your SSD. For beginners, we recommend you using method 1, which provides an easier and quicker solution to partition SSD. If you're still in doubt about whether to partition your SSD, let's take a look at the advantages of partitioning. Firstly, it allows you to separate your operating system and programs from your personal files, leading to better system management. Secondly, you can add more unallocated free space to the target volume when you run out of space. And finally, partitioning can also help in data recovery and system backup. In conclusion, partitioning is very effective in protecting your operating system and personal data. Now let's begin the process of partitioning your SSD. First, we will partition your SSD using Eesus Partition Master. This method offers more advanced features and flexibility in managing your disk partitions. Eesus Partition Master as a comprehensive disk partitioning tool offers the ability to create as many partitions as you need with one click. Download the reliable tool from the internet or from the link blue the video. Once installed, run the software. In this part, we will introduce two situations to partition SSD. For a new SSD, in this situation, SSD shows unallocated for a used SSD. In this situation, SSD shows partitioned, and you can resize and partition SSD. Let's begin for the tutorial. First, for a new SSD, open EaseUS Partition Master and click Partition This Disk on the popped up New Disk Guide window. Set the number of partitions you need to create and set the partition style to your disk, MBR or GPT. Or you can accept the default setting offered by EaseUS Partition Master. Once done, click Proceed. Click Execute One Task and apply to finalize partitioning the new HDD SSD or external disk. Second, for a used SSD, if you have already created partitions on SSD and you want to reallocate the disk space, follow this tutorial. If you have no unallocated space, right-click the bigger partition and select Resize Move. Drag either end of the partition rightwards or leftwards to shrink the partition size. Then click OK, click Execute One Task, and then Apply to save all the changes. Go back to Partition Manager, right-click on the unallocated space and choose Create. Customize the partition size, partition drive letter, partition label, file system. Click OK. Finally, click Execute One Task and Apply to complete creating partition with the unallocated space on your disk. Repeat the steps to partition a hard drive and get many more partitions. Now let's move on to partitioning your SSD using Disk Management, a built-in tool in Windows 11 and 10. Right-click this PC or my computer, click Manage, and click Disk Management. Select the disk to be initialized and the target format in the Disk Management pop-up window and click OK. Right-click on the unallocated space and select New Simple Volume. On the New Simple Volume wizard interface, click Next and click Next to continue. The unallocated space will be added to the new SSD partition. Assign drive letter or path, then set the file system as NTFS. Click Finish. After initializing the SSD, you can also go ahead and right-click on the SSD and select Shrink Volume, enter the space size and click Shrink to create unallocated space. Then go ahead and right-click on the unallocated space and select New Simple Volume and follow the steps in order to create different partitions. Both EASIS Partition Master and Disk Management are effective tools for partitioning your SSD. However, for a more user-friendly experience with advanced features, we highly recommend using EASIS Partition Master. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on managing your storage devices. Thank you for watching, and happy partitioning!